What is happening, my friends? Welcome to another video. Of course, I'm Rob Stewart, and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. Now, a lot of you guys over the past two months have been sending me emails, asking me questions about water fasting. You guys have been hitting me up on the Instagram, the comment section of the YouTube, and on Facebook saying, Rob, thanks for the videos. Thanks for the knowledge. How the heck do I do a proper water fast from start to finish? So today I'm gonna to give you guys a super basic and simple outline for a water fast. So stay tuned. Okay, first things first, determine the length of time that you're gonna go. Are you gonna go two days? Are you gonna go three days? Are you gonna go five days? Are you gonna go 14 days? So once you determine your length, then it's time to get organized. Once you have determined your length, then you're going to want to clear your schedule for all of those days. Now, hanging out with people, you know, having people come over to your house or just having relaxing time with people out in nature, um, going to the beach, um, you know, sitting in nature, hanging out at a forest, whatever. You can be with people and go outside. You just want to be in a relaxed state of mind. Any workouts or strenuous activities that you have planned must be canceled. Any social activities, parties, um, family dinners, hangout sessions, unless they are super relaxing and with people who are really nurturing and make you feel very relaxed and good, cancel them. Um, you do not want to do anything physical during your water fast at all. Even if you feel energized and great, do not work out or do strenuous activities. That includes no working, even if you have a desk job, no cross country traveling, driving, nothing. Lay down, sit down, do some light stretching, maybe go for a walk, but that is about it. You have to remain relaxed and calm so that the body can do its healing thing. My advice is to stock up on lots of good documentaries and lots of good books and maybe even schedule lots of conversations with old friends or new friends, people who are inspiring and who make you feel good. Give yourself things to do during the day, little activities, maybe a little bit of uh, creativity, writing, reading, art, talking to people. Just allow yourself to have a staycation. The key to this water fasting is relax, 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 relax. Because there is the possibility that you will detox like crazy and feel horrible. And if you don't, that's awesome. You might feel really good. Sometimes when I've water fasted in the past, I feel amazing, a ton of energy. If this is you, fight the urge to exercise. For some reason in my water fasting videos, this comes up a lot. So I want you guys to put on your, put on your listening ears and really pay attention here. A water fast means you eat and drink nothing besides water. No supplements, no lemons, no milk, no juices, no carrots, nothing goes in your body. The key to water fasting is taking in zero calories so that the body goes into ketosis. And I don't mean the fake ketosis that some of you guys out there on the ketosis diet think you're in, but true ketosis, which comes from no calories at all, none from fat, none from sugar, none from protein, none from anything. Once you have all of that kind of set up, the mental game is all taken care of, now it's time to pick your water. And some people make a huge deal out of this, I do not. Obviously, you're cleansing, don't drink tap water. Get some type of good water. You can use um, a reverse osmosis machine and filter, a Brita, you can get distilled water, you can get water from um, you know, like water from that's sourced from the mountains. Most of the bottled water out there and most of the, the, the filtered water will be fine. I generally drink spring water 
and distilled water. Those are my two favorites. You can tell a difference in the taste. Um, just avoid tap water and drink something clean. Um, that's really it as far as your water goes. Just keep it, keep it simple. Along with water, um, and you will want to drink as much water as you need. I usually drink over two liters um, when I'm water fasting, but drink as much as you want, as much as you need. Anytime you are hungry, drink some water. Satiate yourself with water, it'll give you something to do, it'll give you some mouth feel, and it will, it'll move, move things along. So there is no set amount um, of water. I would get at least two liters, um, but there's no, no exact set amount. Just listen to your body. Don't allow yourself to, to get thirsty. Every time you get hungry, drink, drink water. It's that simple. Now, before I wrap this video up, um, as you can see, water fasting is an extremely simple thing, but it is extremely, extremely powerful. Don't think though that you're going to do a water fast for three days or five days or 10 days and all of a sudden your skin will be healed. You won't have skin disease anymore. Water fasting is a one tool in the huge toolbox of cleanses and treatments that I use. They have to be used consistently along with the diet and the lifestyle over a period of time to heal the skin. Doing water fast alone without changing your diet and without moving your body daily will do pretty much nothing. And make sure you watch the most important of the water fast. My old video talks about how to come off of a water fast. If you're doing that wrong, you will mess yourself up badly. So make sure you check out that video as well. I want to leave you with this, guys. In order, if you want to take your, your cleansing, your water fasting game to the next level, you're going to add some salt flushes and coffee enemas to the mix. How you do that is up to you. If it were me, I would do a coffee enema on day one, salt flush on day two, and go back to back with those every single day of my water fast. If you're new to water fasting, try one day or two days. Um, if you're gonna go over four or five days, I suggest checking in with one of the clinics or simply work with someone who has the ability to lead you through it. But if you're gonna water fast, take responsibility for your own health, make sure you're doing it safe, make sure you're, you're being um, conscious, and have a great time, enjoy these cleanses, focus on the craft, the art of getting your skin healthy, which is the day-to-day -day of cleansing, eating, and moving, and give it some time, and your skin will Heal. It takes a lot of time, takes some effort, but once you get there, it's so worth it, you guys. So worth it. So that's today's video. Much love to you guys. Um, remember, if you're new to this channel, subscribe and share. Leave your comments down below. There's some exciting stuff happening in my world of creating content for you guys. Uh, Super Juice, most of you guys know that is, you can, you can purchase that on the website right now. Super Juice has 30 awesome skin health juicing recipes and three cleansing programs to follow. It's awesome. Coming up next month, it's going to be oil-free success. My 60 oil-free delicious recipes that will keep your mouth very happy and excited and keep your digestion and your skin on point. So much love you guys. I'll be back soon.